6, a series of hurricane models being developed at the University of Rhode Island is expected to make forecasting hurricanes in New England more precise. Meteorologist C.J. Del Santo went down to URI today to learn more about the new tool. He joins us from Narragansett with the South County Mobile Newsroom. A URI professor told me that computer models are doing very well with forecasting Hurricane Florence, but he's working on a computer model that will take hurricane forecasting to a whole other level. Hurricanes in New England can be very difficult to predict, but a new computer model designed at the University of Rhode Island will create more accurate forecasts for coastal and inland flooding and winds. But also the impacts such as impacts on the roads, on the critical infrastructure, so we can communicate more efficiently the results of the model simulations to emergency managers, to the decision makers in real time uh, to make their job more effective. The model, which is designed only for Rhode Island right now, uses current weather models and downscales to extremely high resolution, down to about 30 feet, so emergency managers can determine in real time if a critical building, road, or bridge will fail. We have simulated uh, Hurricane Carol in 1954. The model is ready to use right now if a storm were to come up here, but simulations with past storms have been done. We can uh, explicitly resolve the hurricane barrier and uh, in our computer model. In a Carol simulation, the hurricane barrier performed well. In a hypothetical hurricane they named Rhody, a strong Category 3 loops around Rhode Island and dumps 20 inches of rain. The model can pinpoint individual Providence buildings vulnerable to various levels of river flooding. If the color changes from yellow to red, it, it means that there's more damage to the building. And this will be essentially the output from the model. Emergency managers can determine if a road may get washed out in Galilee or if a communication tower in Westerly could topple. It is that high of resolution and in real time during a storm. The Department of Homeland Security that supports our effort is very interested in potentially uh, using the same technology in other regions across the United States. And while the model is designed for hurricanes, it can also be used with nor'easters. I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.